welcome back to the live coverage of the sixth annual devolution conference happening here in Kirinyaga County. Now, another interesting fact that I've come across on a normal day, this is normally a very sleepy town. The traffic is minimal. I, when I tell you minimal, I mean like one, two, three cars. But today, this is the situation. It has been like this since 5 a.m. in the morning, and it will take. Uh, it will be the same or worse, unfortunately, the entire week as delegates come in and out of the devolution conference and uh, the locals have predicted that it's going to be a nightmare of sorts. Um, a bad thing for normal drivers, a very good thing for business people. Taxi businesses are booming today. A normal fare of 300 shillings from the junction down there, which is the Kutus, uh, Kutus Kerogoya Junction, because this is the highway that joins Kutus Town all the way to Kerogoya Town. It's normally around 300 shillings. Today, the charges are 600 plus. Double, plus, triple, you name it. They are really having a booming business day. We also have Boda Boda riders, such as Monene over here, who tells me he was here a bit late in the afternoon because he was on the farm doing a bit of rice farming. Monene, how are you? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. zako wanasema biashara leo ilikuwa nzuri kidogo manake watu wameongezeka kiasi wao unasema haikuwa nzuri kwa nini ilikuwa late ilikuwa late oh ilikuwa umepitia mahali na kwa hiyo kuanzia kesho tuseme ukirauka unaona kama biashara itakuwa imenoga au itakuwa ni vipi Ladies and gentlemen in Kirinyaga County, So right about now, ladies and gentlemen, we are outside the Kirinyaga University sports field where the main dome, where the main speeches will be taking place tomorrow will happen. So His Excellency, uh, the President of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, will enter through this gate, head on up on our right to the main dome, uh, the VIP section, where he'll wait a bit for a moment and then head on to the podium where he will offer his uh, opening speech and officially declare the conference open. We have various groups that have come to attend this conference. 
and most of them are uh, uh, special interest groups such as people abled differently. We have uh, a group of uh, beauty queens and kings who are also attending the conference. It will be quite interesting to see what role they're playing in here and we'll bring you that as it happens tomorrow. And then we also have um, a lot, a lot when it comes to accommodation issues. Very many people have also complained, apart from the traffic issues today, and apart from this sleepy town being woken up by all the activities that have been going on since early yesterday, we have a very big crisis when it comes to accommodation. Uh, we've had earlier that uh, these places were booked out, all hotels were booked out uh, a week prior. So what is happening today, those who had not booked uh, accommodation earlier are resulting to being housed by people or students who have been hiring two bedroom houses, one bedroom houses, so they are vacated and are putting up with their friends and renting out their homes or their accommodation spaces to delegates who are attending this conference. And as you can see, traffic, it's around uh, late, early evening and traffic is crazy. It looks like Nairobi as we speak. So this is not normal. It never happens. This is new. This is how the week will be. And if you need to get anywhere as a local resident, just be an hour or two early and you'll be safe. So if you're going to work this week, if you're going to school, just ensure that you are an hour or two early because this traffic is not about to end anytime soon. Don't go away. Keep it locked. We are going to bring you live coverage and tidbits and sights and sounds of what is happening in and outside this Devolution Conference 2019 in Kirinyaga County. I'm Angie Wangeshi.